once in every lifetime Comes a love like this Oh, I need you, you need me Oh, my darling, can't you see Young ones Darling, we're the young ones We're the young ones Shouldn't be afraid To live Love There's a song to be sung Cause we may not be the young ones Which, if you ask me, is about as clever as going to the toilet without taking your trousers down. <laughs> anyway. But a Mary decided... Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Who's this Mary? <laughs> what do you mean, who's this Mary? I've been talking about it for the last ten minutes. Have you? Honestly, Vivian, have you been listening to a word I've said? No! <laughs> well, pay attention. Mary, right, who's that tall girl doing joggers... Oh! You mean the one with the enormous tits? Not in my new... Da Vivian, will you stop being so sexist? They're called breasts and everybody has them. Well, I don't. Yes, a naughty Adolf Hitler. Oh, I know who you mean. Old yellow pages. Yes, 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 yes. I believe some of the more politically unsound members of the university call her that. Yes, so, anyway. Mary decided... Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. What is it now? Who's getting married? No, no one's getting married, Michael. I'm talking about Mary. <sighs> Who's Mary? Oh, God. <laughs> well, I still don't see why that means they should call her Yellow Pages. Look, I'm telling you, Michael, because... When she gets drunk at parties... Vivian, please! <laughs> Will you p both please try and grow up and pay attention? It's my story, it's bloody amusing! <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why I bother sometimes. I don't know why you bother ever. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, Mary decided not to go to the party. For the obvious reason. Are we invited? What? <laughs> to the party, the wedding. <laughs> no! <laughs> Guys, guys, listen, I've got something amazing to tell you. Answer the phone, Neil. What? <laughs> Answer the phone. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, floppy disks. <laughs> anyway, look, never mind that. No, what do you mean, I'm never mind? What do you mean, never mind? That might have been a very important call, Neil. God, you're a complete teacup, aren't you? Mark Rick. What? Oh, sorry, yeah. Da, da. Anyway, listen, guys. No, no, no. You listen. I've been waiting here half an hour. Half a bloody hour, Neil. Being hungry, waiting for my tea, and listening to that bogey bum. Oh, well, that's my fault, is it? Oh, yeah, it's always my fault. Why didn't you cook your own tea, Vivian? Because I do not cook the tea, Neil. You do. That's what we agreed when we first came. You do the cooking, I'll look after the plants and the goldfish. Yeah. And what did you make me cook on that first day? Uh, sausages. It was a Tuesday. Yeah. Sausages and... Sausages and plants and goldfish. <laughs> I've discharged my responsibilities, Neil. Now you discharge yours. Hey, Mike, that sounds like a cue for a really dirty joke, doesn't it? Shut up, Rick. <laughs> What's this, Neil? Leftovers. <laughs> Neil? I hate you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Pick on me. I mean, I've already had personality hassles from a complete stranger today. Hey! There's a dead rat in there! <laughs> Great! <laughs> yeah, this complete stranger came up to me, right, and called me Smelly. This complete stranger shouted Smelly at me. I wouldn't have minded, but he was a hundred yards away. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys, you can tell me, truthfully, do I smell? Yes. I mean, come on, guys, I can handle it, you can tell me, do I smell? What do you mean, yes? <laughs> we mean, yes, you smell. Smelly. <laughs> Great, yeah. Sit down, Neil. Sorry. <laughs> Hands up, who likes me? 
Guys, no wonder Neil's smelly. According to the house list, it says the last time we went to the laundrette was the 23rd of October, 1981. <laughs> Guys, it's wash day. But why, Michael? I myself have three pairs of socks and three pairs of knickers. That means I've only worn them 269 times since the last wash. I said, hands up, who likes... Rick, we heard what you said. Now, guys, brace yourselves. There's no avoiding this. And I'm not talking about my chopper. We are going to the laundry. Oh, no, please. No, not a laundry. Why don't you like me? Because you're a complete bastard. <laughs> Vivian, I'm being serious. So am I. You're a complete bastard and we all hate you. I find that rather difficult to believe. Do you want to bet on it? I'll put down a fiver. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you can count me in as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, uh, uh, I don't bet. Coward! Yeah, yellow chicken. Oh, I don't, I'm not scared. <laughs> right then, a fiver. Oh, I haven't got any money. <laughs> what about that tenner I lent you this morning for your sister's operation? <laughs> you haven't got a sister, Rick. You're the classic example of an only child. <laughs> all right, all right, are we going to bet or are we going to piffle around all night? There's a tenner. Quiet, everybody. The bet's on. <clears throat> right. Hands up, who likes me? <laughs> Damn! Right, that's it, I'm gonna kill myself. Anyway, sorry. No, we won't. <laughs> Does anybody want the last chick for you? I didn't even want the first one. <laughs> I feel sorry for you, you zeros. Well, you know about this. What's going to live on after you die? I'll tell you, nothing, that's what. Uh, uh, can you, like, actually kill yourself with laxative pills? I don't know, Neil, but I'm going to stay and find out. I think I'm going up to my room for a bit. <laughs> this house will become a shrine. And punks and skins and masters will all gather round and hold their hands in sorrow for their fallen leader. And all the grown-ups will say, but why are the kids crying? And the people will say, haven't you heard? Nick is dead! The people's turret is dead! And then one particularly sensitive and articulate teenager will say, how are the kids? Do you understand nothing? How can Rick be dead when we still have his poems? And another kid will say... <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm irrelevant. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, wow! Oh, guys, guys, quickly! One of Vivian's socks has escaped. <laughs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. Human beings the size of amoebas. Here's your afternoon tea, Dr. Carlyle. Uh, thank you, Janet. Oh, it, it, Dr. Knight of the Nine O'Clock News is here to see you. Is he? Well, I'd best conceal this sticky bun by placing it precariously on the edge of this box. <laughs> Show me. Prepare yourself, sir. I have a patient outside whose deformities are so grotesque that you will question how the Almighty could suffer such a blasphemy upon his earth. Calm yourself, Doctor, not the nine o'clock news. We are men of science. We fear no worldly terrors. Pray remember, sir, he is human. He is a man. It's an elephant, Doctor. You unfeeling bastard, sir. Sorry. Hope that perhaps he might understand. I am an elephant, you know. Oh, I'm not going back in there. It stinks. Vivian, if you can't keep control of your socks, you shan't be allowed to have any. <laughs> Help, I'm being hassled by a killer sock. Kill. 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 Oh, that's nice talk coming from a vegetarian. Socks aren't vegetables, man. They should be wiped out. Well, I hope you're satisfied, Dr. Neil Goebbels. It's dead now. <laughs> it was a mercy killing. 